One of the key items you'll need to get going with Azure is an Azure account. And as you can probably tell by now from some of the previous lectures, there are a number of account options available to you. In this demonstration, we're gonna focus on creating a simple trial account to get you going. So we'll start off in our web browser. Okay, and here we are in the web browser. And as you can see, I'm at azure.microsoft.com slash en dash us slash free. You can also just Google that, you know, Azure free account, and it will take you to this page. And the first thing you'll see is it says, create your Azure free account today, get started with 12 months of free services. And if you scroll down, you'll see what you get with the free account which is 12 months of services, but $200 of credit. So all the services that we use throughout the course, and if you're exploring with Azure, will cost a certain amount of money. Uh, that will get taken away from your $200 of credit. But some services are always free, and they will always be available. So if you haven't already used a trial account, I encourage you to get one because it will save you a bit of money through the course. If you've already used one, then I'm afraid you're just going to have to you know, swipe the credit card and pay the small fees when you provision services in Azure. Uh, but hopefully this will, will get you underway if you haven't had a trial account yet. Now if you go ahead and click start free, it will then prompt you to sign in with a Microsoft account. And at this point, you know, simply log in with your Microsoft account if you already have one, or if you don't have one, go ahead and click create one. Type in your email address. Type in a password. And you'll get a code sent to your email address, which you'll need to type in here. So simply refresh your email account, grab that code from there and punch it in here. And then decide if you want to receive the Microsoft promotional emails or not. Go ahead and click next. And it'll ask you to just type in this prompt to make sure you are a, a person actually doing it and not a bot as you've probably seen from other websites and click next again. At this point, it also asks you if you want to stay signed in. So this will reduce the number of times you're asked to sign in. This is very useful, otherwise you'll get prompted repeatedly as you sign into different Microsoft services. So we'll click yes for that. And then at this point, you can see Azure free account sign up, start with your $200 of credit. At this point also, if you already had a free account on that email address, it will take you to a screen to ask you to sign up for a pay as you go and input your credit card details. But at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue typing in my information. And after you type in your phone number, you'll hit text me or call me and it will send a verification code to you, which you also need to punch in here. That's just verifying your phone number. Okay, and then you'll need to enter a credit card for the account as well. So I'm just gonna skim through this. And after you've entered the credit card information and click next, it will then prompt you to accept the agreement. This is the subscription agreement, the offer details that surround the free offer that you're being given and the privacy statement. So either read through all those and then when you're done, go ahead and click the box here and then click sign up. Okay, when all that's completed, you'll see you're ready to start with Azure and you can go ahead and go to the portal. Okay, here we are, welcome to Microsoft Azure. Uh, you can start the tour, that'll give you a tour around everything here, and we can choose maybe later if we don't want to do that now. And then on the top right, you can see this is the account that you've signed into, uh, and it also prompts you to say, hey, you've got $200 of credit remaining. In fact, if we go to all services as well, and choose subscriptions, so we can type in subscriptions, or you can just select it on the right here from the general menu. I would favorite this as well to the menu on the left-hand side, so you click the star, that favorites it for you because you'll go to subscriptions a lot throughout the course. Uh, click subscriptions and you will see in here your free trial that is available. We can click the free trial and here you can see the subscription. It'll break down all of the different costs, etc. Uh, your free credit expires in 30 days that we currently have here. If I click on manage, this will then take you to the account page, which is a little bit different to the portal. So what you'll notice if we click back to the free trial, portal that we have here. This is portal.azure.com and this other page it takes you to is account.azure.com. So the account section is where you'll do things like add payments, you know, set up billing alerts and things like that. Uh, and you can see here the subscription status on this one, 30 days left, 200 
dollars in credits remaining which basically aligns to that free trial as mentioned before uh, but then when we want to go ahead and execute on anything we just go back to the free trial at this point over here now if we want to give other people access to it as well simply go down to Azure Active Directory and you'll also see that you have different users available to you and there's only going to be one currently so if I click users in the default directory uh, you'll see this is the default user that gets created when we created the subscription. Now I can create new users at this point. I can also create new guest users. So I can invite people with just their like, personal email address as well and give them access to our Active Directory that's created in here. Now you will see more of Azure Active Directory in future modules, but just know if you're looking to you know, share this account with somebody else that you're studying with, this is where you would go to do that. Uh, and then if you go back to subscriptions again, so I'm gonna scroll down, you'll see it's in the favorites now because we added it. If I click subscriptions, uh, and click this free trial subscription. If I want to give somebody access to this, you'll see the access control section here. So I click access control. Uh, and while I do have Azure Active Directory to create users, etc., I do need to assign rights to the subscription if I want somebody to be able to access it and have you know full administrative rights over it. So I can click add role assignment. And at this point, I would select the role. And if I wanted them to be complete owner of the subscription, same as you have by default, you would click the owner role. If I want them to have a lot of rights but not be able to give access out to other people, I would choose the contributor role. And if I just wanted to give them read access rights, I would choose the reader role. Now there's a whole bunch of now there's a whole bunch of other role assignments as well. Those are also covered later on in the course, but for now just know about these three. And if I click owner, what I would do then is assign access to either an Azure AD user, group, or service principal. And if I'd created that user from the Azure Active Directory section I just showed you, that user would appear here, and then I could basically assign them the access. But for right now, it's an empty account, so there's nothing to assign. It's only me, you know, my email address that essentially is in there right now. Uh, and so with that, this concludes this demonstration and hopefully we'll get you up and running, getting your trial account set up so you can continue on with the course.